Just get warmed up, y'all. Now, I was asking the same here, how many of you, how many of you have the record? Anybody have my solo record? Now, it's a, thank y'all for getting it. Um, it's one of those things people keep asking me over and over, why? Because, <laughs> you know, uh, most people, most of my fans know me, or I would say 99.9% .9 of my fans know me from uh, being in this little band called Third Day. And, uh, and so, you know, we've been together for 20 years, and so everybody keeps asking, why are you doing this record? Of course, then I say, why not? And, but, but honestly, since I was a little kid, I grew up in Alabama. And uh, I grew up in Alabama, moved to Georgia when I was in high school. And so I grew up in the South. I grew up listening to country music, singing it. And I always wanted to, to do a country record, but I just never really thought I'd have a chance because, you know, the band keeps me pretty busy, right? And uh, so finally we got a little bit of time off, and this, uh, at the end of last year, this is thing that's been on my heart for a long, long time, just going, man, I wish I could just even just record it. And it doesn't even have to get out there or anything like that. I just want to make a record, you know, as an artist. And, you know, Jason's been playing with Third Day for a couple of years now, and Jason, Mr. Jason Moore, you know, And uh, Jason's a producer, an amazing guitar player, and you know, as y'all, most of y'all seen before, plays banjo and mandolin and all, pretty much any instrument on the earth. And uh, he and I just started talking one day, and we were like, man, let's just demo some songs and just see what happens. And uh, and the record that, that we have is what happens. So it's a really, it's been a, it's a dream come true for me to be able to make the record, but even more so to get to tour and to come in places like this and to see you beautiful people and to have the support. Uh, from y'all, it's uh, thank you so much for helping my dream to come true. I appreciate that. It means a lot. It really does. And uh, you know, we're going across. Not a lot of people know about it, so you know, we're playing kind of small crowds like this every night. But uh, for me, crowds, though. For, well, I was going to say for me, I know who the real Mac Powell fans are. It's Terry Powell. So let's just a little bit. You know, we got a little bit of time, and we got a little bit of uh, you know. We're friends here, it's a small crowd, intimate crowd, so I can talk a little bit and just tell you all about some of these songs, right? I mean, is that cool or? I haven't told anybody, we've done two shows and I haven't told anybody about Jumbo. And some of you may have heard me in an interview or something, but Jumbo, the last one we did, is actually about my little nine-year-old girl. And she was born in June and her mom calls her Jumbo. And she, uh, this is something I don't, I'm not really going to share this from stage a lot, so this is kind of a, a neat, cool night, kind of storyteller's night, but it's, uh, she reminds me so much of her mama. Her name is Candy Love, and, and her mama is a redhead, and she's just, you know, she is the typical, very fiery, strong, redhead woman, you know? And, and Candy Love, who's Jumbo, doesn't have red hair, but she's got the red hair attitude. And uh, so she reminds me so much of her mama. So just when I was writing a song, I said, I want to write a song called Jumbo and write about her. And I was just kind of picturing, kind of going back and, and thinking about, you know, me falling in love with her mom and me, you know, falling in love with my wife, Amy. And then just about Cami Love, when she grows up, one day there's going to be a guy that's going to fall in love with her and just kind of thinking through that story. And I will be shouting my shotgun, I'm going to tell you that. Much. <laughs> But uh, this next song is about, and I don't want to ruin any of these songs for anybody. I, you know, it's, it's hard for some of these songs because I don't, you know, with the third day songs, you kind of spell it out, you know, for the most part, you know what most of them are about. But some of these songs, I don't want to really tell you what they're about because I don't want to take away from, you know, what they might be for you. But this, that being said, this next song I really wrote for, it's kind of a semi-autobiographical story about, uh, my wife and, and my kids, my family, and so this is called Sweet Georgia Girl. <laughs>
I'm getting over it, but it's still, you know, it's I'm, I'm back about 90% now. And um, Jason and I, I don't know, if, how many of you follow us on Twitter? Anybody follow me or Jason on Twitter? So, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we were on, Marie Osmond has a brand new talk show. It hasn't even aired yet. And we got to go and perform on it yesterday. Yeah, it was cool. Our first TV gig. And, uh, and that was fun, but you know, it's, it was kind of weird. You know, flying to the West Coast, and flying back, and watch you flying, and not a lot of sleeping, so it's... That wasn't the weirdest part for me. The weirdest part was me, for me was somebody putting makeup on my face. Yeah. That was the first time. Well, I, I, wouldn't, think that, I wouldn't think that'd be too weird, to be honest. I mean, I'm not saying nothing. You like to put on makeup? No, I'm saying for you. Yeah. You should be used to that. No. I'm a joke. I got so many girls in my house. You're right. But, uh, yeah. Come here, Daddy. Let's put on some mascara. That's right. That's right. I've painted toenails. I've done all kinds of stuff in them pretty bad. You know, I, this is a really weird request, but I didn't I didn't grab a water. Can somebody grab me some water real quick? Just anybody? Uh, Heath, give, go give me some water, man. I'm uh, headed that way. I'm just kidding. No, you wait. You got to play. So I would appreciate that if anybody could grab me some water. You know, those little things, I don't have any guitar techs or anybody at all. This is, this is straight up. Gangster ghetto here, you know. So, little things I hadn't thought about like in 15 or 20 years to go get me some water if I wanted it, you know, tune my guitar. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, sir. I can make it through. I, I, needed a, I needed room temperature. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, George Diva here, man. So, uh, <laughs> What are we doing next? Let's see. Uh, oh, crap, his patient. Oh, yeah, I gotta grab my guitar. Uh, Rope Jason, Mr. Jason Ford, why don't you introduce everybody? I'm gonna tell you about a couple of these folks. Our good buddy back here, uh, his day job is playing with Allison Krause at Union Station. He's moonlighting with us. Uh, give it up for all the way from Greenville, Tennessee, Mr. Mary Bell. <laughs> Far back with the uh, harmonica brace, or what do you call that thing? Harmonica necklace? Artisan. <laughs> Harness. That sounds way better. Apparatus. It's a bit. Yeah. Like harmonica apparatus. And an acoustic guitar. <laughs> Originally from Arkansas, making his home in Griffin, Georgia with me, right? Well, they don't live with me. He's got five kids of his own and a beautiful wife. Mr. Matthew Bailey on acoustic and harmonica. <laughs> And uh, once again, I introduced him earlier, but once again on the drums, Mr. Brandon Coker, come on. There he is, there he is. I like to call him Coke. Y'all say, hey, Coke. Say, hey, Coke. Hey, Coke. Uh, all right, that's good. And then uh, over here, here, you know, here we go. What you want to say? I just love the other night I introduced him. He said, well, it's actually pronounced. He corrected me on how to say oh, it. I'm name. sorry. Well, it's a hard one. It is a hard one. It is a hard one. His name is Heath Balt Ziegler. Yeah. But it's really, it's spelled, check it out, it's, got, it's spelled, what is that, German, Dutch? It is uh, German. It's yeah. B L L T Z G L I E R. Yeah. So right. how, everybody says, now say it how everybody says it. Right. And everybody says Balt Ziegler. Balt Ziegler. Right. Because we drew, we grew up in Bill, Georgia area. Nobody wants to say Balt Ziegler. But, but my wife corrected me. Her last name was Hill. Real simple. She married Heath Balt Ziegler. She said, hey, it's Heath Balt Ziegler, by the way, not Balt Ziegler. She corrected you? She corrected me. I was homeschooled, you see. Yeah. They didn't know how to no, say your last name. Right. Balt Ziegler. Anyway. I like that. Sounds, sounds, sounds fancy. Balt Ziegler. Real fancy. Too fancy for that one. 